In this guide, I'll show you how to set up your Roku Streaming Stick or Roku Streaming Stick Plus to your TV or monitor. So the three main things you'll find in the box are the actual Roku Streaming Stick, which will plug into your TV, and on the side you'll see a USB-C port. Now with the cable that's provided, you want to plug the one end into your actual Streaming Stick, and on the other side is a USB-A cable, which you will want to plug into a wall charger adapter. So here's an example of what that might look like where you have the USB port. Alternatively, a lot of TVs nowadays also have a USB port on them on the back. So have a look and see if you can plug it in that way. So once your Roku streaming stick is connected to your TV, make sure you're on the correct HDMI input. And then on your Roku remote, make sure the tab on the back is removed. And then you want to press the back button and the home button until it connects to your Roku streaming stick. So you'll get this notification on your TV that it's connected. So once you've got that notification, it'll now work. And then it'll prompt you to select your language. So go ahead and select it. And then it'll automatically perform a wireless scan to look for your Wi-Fi network. So once you see your Wi-Fi network, you can select it. And then you just want to input your password. Now once you've done that, you can select connect at the bottom and it'll connect to your Wi-Fi network. And then it's going to begin performing a lot of updates. So it'll say update available and you just want to select OK. And then you just want to wait for all the updates to finish. Now once they're all finished, it'll tell you to connect your Roku remote to your TV so you can use it for volume as well as turning it on and off. And then you just want to select your TV brand. And then it'll play some music to let you know that it's working. And you just want to follow the prompts on screen until your Roku remote is connected to your TV for power and volume. So after you've successfully connected, you can select OK at the bottom. And then it's going to ask you to sign in or create an account for your Roku device. So you can either enter in your email address and follow the prompts on screen, or you can activate with a QR code by scanning it on your phone. So I'm going to go to enter email address and just follow the prompts. Now in order to activate your Roku device and complete the setup, you will have to access a web browser, whether it's on your computer or on your mobile device. And you'll be sent emails to your email address when you sign up. So just activate your device and enter in your personal information and follow the prompts where you'll be able to add some TV channels and more, and then your setup will be complete. So now if you head back to your Roku and TV, you'll see it's at the home menu. So if you scroll over and scroll down, you'll see a bunch of different streaming platforms that are already installed on your Roku streaming stick. So you can select any of those, or you can scroll down and go to add apps if you wanted to add something else. This guide was helpful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.